Sure. Uh, first, I'd just like to say that we recognize the importance of taking both existing and uh, new technologies and enhancing them and packaging them in order to provide solutions for the government agencies and first responders that we support. Um, that has led us for, to a few things. First, in May, uh, our wireless priority services over Vaulty reached full operating capacity, which uh, is providing end-to-end -end voice priority and data connection priority for uh, those that use that service. I would also note that those services meet the Office of Emergency Communication uh, interoperability policies. Uh, we feel it's important that we uh, follow those guidelines. Uh, second, you know, in April we launched a new network for secure and resilient communications for uh, agencies engaged in national security activity as well as first responders. Uh, that is a dedicated private core network that provides preemption, broadband priority, and guaranteed quality of service for those uh, first responders, uh, ensuring they have the ability to stay connected during a crisis. And then finally, uh, just this week, we've announced the availability of a mobile connectivity trailer that will give agencies the ability to uh, connect through satellite or through an ISP and stand up a temporary communications network uh, within uh, as little as an hour. Uh, and that's going to be available for agencies through lease to own or through purchase and uh, another great asset that will be available for, uh, for first responders. Wow.